isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamathinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Ulaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto. Again, I would like to introduce to you my partner, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. How are you? I'm fine, Maestro. Again, thank you for including me in your math lesson. I am excited to learn and help other kids to learn and enjoy mathematics. Yes, you are welcome, Mateo. So are you ready? What about you kids? All right, let's do Mathanong! What is the product of the following decimals? Number 1, 6 and 45 hundreds times 100. Number 2, 18 hundreds times 100. Number 3, 42 hundreds times 9 hundreds. Mateo and kids, you have 10 seconds to answer. is up. Let's check your answers. Mateo, can you show us your answers? Here are my answers. Number 1, 6 and 45 hundreds times 100 is equals to 645. Number 2, 18 hundreds times 100 is equals to 18 ten thousands. Number 3, 42 hundreds times 900 is equals to 378 ten thousands. You are correct, Mateo. However, can you explain how did you arrive with your answers? Sure, Maestro Olaso. For number one, I just moved the decimal point two places to the right based on the number of zeros in 100. Need to indicate that you multiply 645 and 1 on your explanation. So, 6 and 45 hundreds times 100 is equals to 645. For number 2, I just moved the decimal point two places to the left based on the number of places in 100. Need to indicate that you multiply 18 and 1 on your explanation. So, 18 hundreds times 100 is equals to 18 ten thousands. For number 3, I multiply 42 to 9 as whole number. 42 times 9 is equals to 378. Then, I put the decimal point in the product four places from the right based on the total number of places in the given factors. I inserted zero to make the correct number of places. So, 42 hundreds times 9 hundreds is equals to 378 ten thousands. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Mateo, for teaching them the shortest way in multiplying decimals. Now, for today's episode, we are going to discuss about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals including money. Brace yourself. Let's do Mathalakai! Remember the four main steps in solving word problems. S T A R or STAR S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. R. Review and check your answer. Let us apply now the four main steps in solving problems. Mateo, can you read our first problem? 
A beach house rents for 1,550 pesos and 50 cents a day. How much will Mr. Sebastian pay if his family stays for five days? Thank you, Mateo. Let's help Mr. Sebastian solve his problem. Mateo and kids, get ready! By following the star, we can solve this problem. The first step in solving problem is study the problem. What are the given facts or numbers? 1,550 pesos and 50 cents a day, 5 days. What is asked in the problem? The amount that Mr. Sebastian will pay. The second step in solving problem is think of a plan. Since the given amount is only per day, what is the best operation to get the total amount in 5 days? It's multiplication. So, the mathematical sentence is 1,550 pesos and 50 cents times 5 equals N. The third step in solving word problem is act on the plan. 1,550 pesos and 50 cents times 5 equals N. To get the answer, let's follow the steps in multiplying decimal numbers. First, suggestion. Multiply as a whole number instead of writing. Ignore the decimal point and multiply as if they are whole numbers. So, find the product of 155,050 times 5. It is equal to 775,250. Then, place the decimal point in the product based on the number of decimal places in the given factor. Count the number of decimal places from the right. In this case, we have only two decimal places. We have now the answer 7,752 pesos and 50 cents. Finally, the last step in solving problem is review and check your answer. Since we have not yet discussed about the division of decimals, we can check the answer by adding 1,550 pesos and 50 cents 5 times. Now, we arrive with the same answer of 7,752 pesos and 50 cents. That means Mr. Sebastian will pay 7,752 pesos and 50 cents if his family stays for 5 days. I hope that everything is well. We will see if you can answer the next problem. Mateo and all our Kamatinik, join with me and say, Mathray nga! Here is the problem. A kilo of grapes costs 200 pesos and 50 centavos. How much will you pay if you buy 3 kilos? Mateo! Can you show us how are you going to solve the problem? Yes, maestro. As what you taught us that in solving problem, we need to follow SDAR. S. Study the word problem. What are the given facts in the problem? 200 pesos and 50 cents and 3 kilos. What is asked? The amount to pay for 3 kilos of grapes. The second step in solving problem is T. Think of a plan. Since the price of a kilo of grapes is 200 pesos and 50 cents, and the easiest way to get the amount for 3 kilos is to use the operation of multiplication, so the mathematical sentence is 200 pesos and 50 cents times 3 equals N. The third step in solving word problem is A. Act on the plan. 200 pesos and 50 cents times 3 equals N. To get the answer, let us follow the steps in multiplying decimal numbers. First, suggestion, multiply as a whole number instead of writing. Ignore the decimal point and multiply as if they are whole numbers. So, find the product of 20050 times 3. It is equal to 60 
1.150. Then, place the decimal point in the product based on the number of decimal places in the given factor. Count the number of decimal places from the right. In this case, we have only two decimal places. We have now the answer, 601 pesos and 50 cents. Finally, the last step in solving problem is R. Review and check your answer. To check the answer, add 200 pesos and 50 cents three times. Now, we arrive with the same answer of 601 pesos and 50 cents. That means the amount you pay for 3 kilos of grapes is 601 pesos and 50 cents. You got it, Mateo! You absolutely follow the steps in solving word problem. What about you, Kamathinik? I hope that you really understand the steps in solving problems and keep in your mind and always matandaan! Again, Mateo, can you tell us what are the four main steps in solving problems? Yes, maestro. Just follow the S-T-A-R or STAR. S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. And R. Review and check your answer. And now for our final activity. Brace yourself! It's Matimata's time! Read and analyze the problem carefully. Then, choose the letter of the best answer in the following questions. A computer programmer earns a regular hourly rate of 100 pesos. If he worked 42.75 hours in a week, how much did he earn in a week? Let's check now your answers. Number one, the correct answer is B, the amount of earnings by a computer programmer in a week. Number two, the correct answer is B, two. Number three, the correct answer is C, multiplication. Number four, the correct answer is letter C, 100 pesos times 42.75 equals N. And number 5, the correct answer is 4,275 pesos. All 
Alright, how many of you got a score of 4 or 5? Great! You outdid yourself today! To those who got 3 below, do not worry. You can now review your self-learning module and you can watch the replay on YouTube channel. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuwan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.